black queen Failure ain't an option, you looking clean, clean, clean Failure ain't an option, an option, you looking clean Hey guys, it's Jess, welcome back to my channel and I finally have a new video for you guys. So today's video is long overdue because y'all been asking me how I got my hair like this. Um, how I got my hair like this and right now my hair looks like this. So I'm gonna break it down for y'all really quick. Is the lighting okay? It's a little bright. If you're not following me on Instagram, which you should, only one Jess underscore, then you don't know. You just don't know. So sorry to disappoint some of you guys, but it was not my real hair, but dang, it sure did look good, didn't it? So I got the hair from a site called Finger Comber, and I'll be honest, I've seen some mixed reviews. Some people say the hair is not good when they get it. For me, I've had a pretty good experience. It wasn't sponsored, so it's not like they sent me their best hair so I can give them a great review. I just said, I saw EC wearing one of their wigs, so I was like, let me see what's popping. I did some research, I got the wig, and it turned out fine. So I'm gonna show you how I go from this to what we're about to do in like 10 minutes. But I will say, this is kind of giving. Isn't it kind of giving a little? So this was the unit that I was wearing. This is she, she is me, she is bomb. This wig is very identical to the front texture of my hair. It don't really match the back, but it doesn't matter because the back is being covered. So if you're getting a half wig or whatever, just try to focus on the leave out, like the texture of the leave out. So all I really need for this style is, first of all, the wig, which will be left in the description box, links to it, all that. Wig cap, some gel, spray bottle, some edge control, blah, 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 all that. Quick update for anybody who watched a few videos back. You know how my hair was like turning brown? It's growing back black again. What's the deal? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Like you see that all up here? That's for another day. So let's get the leave out going. So we're just gonna leave out a little bit on the side, like right before my ear ends. Over here, we're gonna get it a little bit chunkier, like that much on this side. We'll go all the way down in case the wind blows. And then a little bit on this side too. Perfect! So we're gonna twist this up really quick and then worry about the back. All right, so now you got the unicorn twist in the front. I'm just going to twist my hair into two flat twists in the back. So anyways, I'm just gonna flat twist this part down to my head and do the same thing on this side. All right, so now you should be looking like this. Uh, twist back here, here. So now, take the ski mask, you know, and then throw it on the back of your head, like so. So the wig has a comb on the top and then a comb on the bottom. No adjustable strap, so you really are just on your own with these two, okay? So I would not suggest going on a roller coaster with this here, cause it's gonna be a, a rainy day for you. All right, I just switched camera lenses in the middle of this video and I think it's working out well for us. This is better. This is great, I should've did this a long time ago. All right, so the wig is on, okay? It's getting stretched braid out or stretched twist out. You know, it's not very defined but the, the ends just have a nice little coil on it and this is what the track line looks like. So we're gonna cover that now with the leave out that I have here. The middle part is cute, but I don't suggest a middle part because it's kind of hard to hide the track when you hit that middle part like that, okay? So we need to flip you over like that so that we can hide the track star, okay? She's a runner, she's a track star. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy spray bottle and spray my leave out, it's a little dry. This is some moisturizing cream that I got in a recent campaign that I did on Instagram. So I'm just gonna use that on my leave out really quick. Cause it's feeling a little dry. It's giving dryness. Yo, this, <laughs> this moisturizing cream hits, okay? Oh, it's so good. All right, and now I'm gonna take the Eco Styler Gel or whatever gel you guys have of your choice. You know, I'm just always using Eco Styler Gel cause I ride for my and I die for my so you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, Extreme Wetline Gel did have their moments, okay? They had their moment, but they obviously don't follow the if it ain't broke, don't fix it philosophy because apparently they changed their formula and sheesh, what a letdown. But that's okay, Eco said, come on home, baby. So all I'm gonna do right now is just define the parts 
that are out right now, like my leave out. So yeah, I did forget to say that. The hair is synthetic hair, it's not real hair. So it's not like you should be washing this or going in the water with it. Even though I read some of the reviews and some people said they went on vacation with it and went in the pool and it was fine. I wouldn't suggest that because synthetic hair does tend to get really um, knotty. That's not the only one just suggestion. Wait, let's get a quick part. You know, the crazy thing about this lighting, I mean, after I edit it, maybe it won't look like that, but like my blinds are closed shut right now. I turned off my two extra lights, I only have on my ring light, and it just looks so bright. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Curl defining, Now I gotta do a little bit of finger coiling because my hair has a mind of its own in the front also. Like, sis, do not be wanting to curl sometimes and really just be out here embarrassing me in front of my friends. You know, so, for some reason, something don't sit right with me going through like a whole wash day, tangling, deep conditioning, and then just like flopping a whole bunch of gel on my hair. I don't know why, I just don't feel right. You know when you do your hair and you post it on Instagram and then you do it again and it don't come out right? Yeah, that's kind of what's happening here. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this track after my hair dries. And right now I just need it to sit in one spot. But I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back when it's dry. We'll do up the edges, put a little lip gloss on, and then it's that's it. We're pretty much done here, guys. Okay, just kidding. I figured I'd come back and like do up the front of my hair a little bit. I'm using the She Is Bomb Edge Control. I've tried my share of edge controls over the years, but this one takes the cake. Ooh, there we go. That was a good call, Jess. Good call. And then I'm gonna use, you don't wanna focus? That's fine. It's just like an edge, edge toothbrush thing to just swipe that in. And then just mold that in. Ah. All right, I'm gonna finish my makeup, have this dry up a little more. We're almost there, y'all, we're almost there. And I'll figure out this lighting, because this is definitely not it. All right, bye. Okay, guys, so first of all, these eyelashes, I literally opened them off the package today. I bought them off Amazon, and they're horrible. Oh my gosh, I hate these. I should really rip them off, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to finesse them though. Just ignore that, at least I finally got my lighting together. So anyways, here is um, my hair. I, I blow dried it on a cool setting so that it would um, kind of dry up a little bit without getting frizzy. Here is a close up. Here's my real hair and then here's the wig. Since it's like freshly um, coiled hair and not as frizzy yet, like on day two, this will match perfectly. But anyways, and here's my hair over here. So, in order to kind of hide this a little bit, so simple, all we're gonna do, bring a piece of hair in the front, and then just move this up. You move it up, and it really just blends in with your hair. And then if you like wanna be cute, you just throw that behind the ear. A cute little look-see, minus the lashes. It's a look, cute, we did that. We did that yet again. Here's the hairline. That's how I got y'all, y'all was like, what wig, huh? Huh? So here is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have all the links to everything down below. Just a few pros and cons. So far, I don't have any cons with this hair at all. The pros is everything, but I've only wore it like four times. But for me, it's just, it's so natural. I really don't have any cons to this hair as of right now. Like I said, please do your research on the unit that you choose. Look on YouTube, all that fun stuff to see, you know, which hair would work best for you. Also, something I wanted to say really quick. For that exact hairstyle that I had in the engagement video of like, meet my fiance, I just honestly took this and just like pinned it back. And it looked like that, like gelled that side down, so. That's also an option, also an option. So it's definitely giving looks. I've seen people do like half up, half down with this, which is also really cute. I would say this, this is a winner. I believe it was like $80, I think it's $79.99, or it's $89.99, one of those. But like I said, I'll leave it in the description box. It is synthetic hair, it's not human hair, so like I said again, do not wash this. Um, Cause if you do, I don't really know what's gonna happen. I wouldn't suggest it, but that is on you, my good sis, do your thing. Love y'all so much, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.